Hi, this is Brad Dodrell. I'm the uh, VP of Sales and the Senior Scientist at Lakeshore Cryotronics. Uh, for those of you who have been following our blog or just keeping uh, up to pace with what's new at Lakeshore, you know that uh, we've recently acquired the Micromag Magnetometer product line from Princeton Measurements Corporation. Uh, and I'd like to talk a little bit about that today. Uh, the Micromag Magnetometer product line includes both a vibrating sample magnetometer or VSM and an alternating gradient magnetometer or AGM. Uh, here you see a combination system. This can be configured either as an AGM or a VSM. Uh, this particular system resides on a variable gap 4 inch electromagnet providing maximum applied field strengths to 22 kilohersted or 2.2 tesla. Okay, so uh, this combination system right now is configured as an AGM. So this is the AGM head, this is the AGM probe. The VSM head is shown in a parked position here. To convert between an AGM and a VSM, you simply remove the AGM head and slide the VSM head into place. Okay, so uh, a couple of very unique features about the Micromag magnetometers are uh, sensitivity and measurement speed, okay? The VSM sensitivity or noise floor is about 0.1 micro EMU. The AGM sensitivity is better than 10 nano EMU, so it's a very, very sensitive magnetometry technique. And because of uh, field ramping algorithms that have been implemented in combination with the ability to record data at very short time constants, as low as 10 milliseconds, one can acquire data very, very quickly. In fact, one can acquire a full hysteresis loop over the full field range of the magnetometer in as little as seconds. Okay, so to dem demonstrate how fast and how sensitive the Micromag magnetometers are, uh, I have a magnetic tape sample mounted on the end of the AGM probe. Uh, it is a sample with a saturation moment of approximately 17 micro EMU, so it's a very small signal. And what we're going to do is uh, use the data acquisition control and analysis software to record a hysteresis loop uh, for this sample. So uh, this is the Micromag magnetometer data acquisition software. Uh, what I'm doing here is quickly setting up a hysteresis loop measurement. Uh, I'm going to uh, start at plus 4 kilohersted, ramp to minus 4 kilohersted, and then uh, complete the rest of the loop by ramping back to plus 4 kilohersted. Uh, my field steps are 40 ersted, and I'm going to record data at a time constant of 10 milliseconds. So there are a little over 300 points uh, in this hysteresis loop measurement, and as you can see from here, the approximated measurement time is 9 seconds. So let's go ahead and go. Okay, so we're going to select Execute and Continue, and here we go. There you go, it's done. Now, as you can see from here, there's a diamagnetic background, that's due to the AGM probe itself. We can remove that uh, using the software, uh, which is what I'm doing now. And there you have the uh, corrected loop, and here again you can see the saturation moment is about 17 micro EMU. The remnants is just below 10 micro EMU, and the coercivity is a little over 670 ersted. And you can see here the data acquisition measurement time for the entire loop was 10 seconds. So uh, I think this, you know, adequately demonstrates the speed of the Micromag magnetometers, and in this case you can also see that we have excellent signal to noise. Uh, this is, you know, very low noise in the data, very little scatter. So this also uh, gives you an indication of the sensitivity with which one can conduct measurements. Uh, this was a quick demonstration of the sensitivity and the measurement speed of the Micromag magnetometer product line. Uh, you know, for many materials, uh, for example, thin continuous films, uh, magnetic uh, heterostructures that are ultra thin in nature, nanomagnet arrays, uh, rocks for paleomagnetism studies, diluted magnetic semiconductors, and various other materials, the moment one is trying to measure is very, very small. So the sensitivity of the magnetometry technique is very important. And here again, these are very sensitive magnetometers. And of course, measurement speed is, is always desirable. I mean, in this day and age, we all want everything yesterday. And as you uh, saw from this demonstration today, we could conduct a full hysteresis loop measurement in about 10 seconds, which is very fast. So if you want to find out anything more about this system, please visit our website.